Hello, JBs. Actually, I was preparing other contents, but I changed it suddenly. Maybe you know why. I posted how Korean guy think about India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. But I made some mistakes in there, so I'll talk about it today. First, the searching of Bangladesh celebrities was not proper. I'm so sorry. Someone emailed me, so I could see many charming actresses and actors from Bangladesh. Beha Jabin, Puja Cherry, Safa Kabar, Lafit, Lasit Mithila, Jaya Asan, Kanjin Tisha and Siam Ahmed. They're really attractive and beautiful. Next time I will make another interesting content about Bangladesh people. I promise. Second, the history about Bangladesh. As you told me, the language problem was definitely one of the main reasons of the Bangladesh Liberation War. But I didn't catch that, so I'm so sorry. Pakistan wanted Bangladeshis to speak Urdu, but Bangladeshis wanted to speak Bengali. So that made them angry. When Korea was a Japanese colony, we also couldn't speak Korean and we had to use Japanese. So I understand the anger of Bangladesh because the language is the spirit and soul of the nation. So I really understand about this. I'm sorry I couldn't catch this part. Third, it was the biggest mistake. I didn't tell about Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Quite a ajan. When I talked about separation of India and Pakistan, I'm really really sorry. But on the other hand, this is the reason that I love you too. Because I can know new things from your feedbacks. And I can look at the history from a different point of view, thankfully. Actually, we believe that the media delivers exact information, but in fact, the exposal of information is sometimes really unfair. For example, I learned many things about Kandi through textbooks and media, but honestly, I didn't know about Muhammad Ali Jinnah well. I confess that. So today, I will talk about him. It was really interesting for me, and I was really shocked while preparing this content. He was the most important person in separation of India India and Pakistan. But I didn't know that. I'm so embarrassed. Okay, anyway, let's talk about his life together. He was born at December 25, 1876. He was a lawyer, politician, and the founder of Pakistan. He served as a leader of the All India Muslim League until the Pakistan's independence, and then he served as Pakistan's first governor general until his death. He was a great independence leader and also a great leader of Pakistan. People call him quite a Ajan. It means great leader in Uru. His birthday is considered a national holiday in Pakistan. Actually, it's Christmas in Korea. <laughs> anyway, he studied law in Britain and returned to India and worked as a lawyer in Bombay High Court. But he wanted Indian independence more than anyone else. So he entered Indian National Congress and started his political career. As you know, Gandhi and Nehru were also members of here. He worked for Hind Muslim Unity and helped to shape the Lucknow Pact between the Congress and the All India Muslim League. As you can see, he was the person who worked hard for the harmony of Hindus and Muslims. But what made him believe that Muslims should be independent from India? Let's talk about this. He became politically famous and soon became a Muslim representative. He worked for the rights of Muslim in India, but the Indian Congress didn't agree with him. His efforts for Muslims have been continually ignored. He thought Muslims in India would be dangerous. So 1940, finally he decided Muslims of India India should have their own state. In that year, the Muslim League led by Jinnah passed the Lahore Resolution. It demands a separate nation for Muslims. It was the beginning of Pakistan. He gathered the power of Muslims during World War II and persuaded Britain for Pakistan's independence. In the end, 1947, Pakistan became independent from India. He became the first governor general in Pakistan and worked to make new nations governments and policies. He worked hard to return to the Muslim left and helped them. Security, international relations, and economic growth plans. He made the basic things of the nation. And he died at age 71 in September 1948. Just over a year after, Pakistan gained independence from the United Kingdom. And he still remembered as the great leader of the Pakistan and the father of Pakistan. Yeah, this was his life. I felt that he was such a great person, such a great leader. He tried his best to keep the lives of Pakistanis. Of course, Gandhi tried hard to harmonize India, but for Muslims, he didn't protect them well. But Muhammad Ali Jinnah represented the Muslim well, and he protected them. So it's very obvious that Pakistanis admire him. And I also think he's a great and brave person. I still think the way of Britain's rule system made this situation, I mean the separation of India and Pakistan, but I also think quite a Ajam made the best decision to protect Muslims. He made the real world that anyone 
could have just imagined. I think he's really brave at that point. Yeah, that's what I think. Before I end up this video, I will introduce some famous quotes from him. It's really impressive, so I want to share with you. Okay, let's see. With faith, discipline, and selfless devotion to duty, there is nothing worthwhile that you cannot achieve. Expect the best, prepare for the worst. Think 100 times before you take a decision, but once that decision is taken, stand by it as one man. Failure is a word unknown to me. <laughs> no nation can rise to the height of glory unless your women are side by side with you. No struggle can ever succeed without women participating side by side with men. You have to stand guard over the development and maintenance of Islamic democracy, Islamic social justice and the equality of manhood in your own native soil. That freedom can never be attained by a nation without suffering and sacrifice. Okay, done. There were three things I could find here. First, he supported the value of equality. Actually, I was really surprised that he even thought about women's rights. In the past, many people were negative at women's rights, so it was really impressive. Second, he was really thoughtful, but he was also passionate and powerful when he think he's right. I think this is the reason that he could lead the Pakistan's independence. Third, he knew how valuable freedom was. And he also knew that responsibility and sacrifice were needed for this. So he fought for that. So these things made him a great leader, I think. Very, very impressive. Through this work, I realized that history should be approached from various perspectives. It was really interesting. And I learned that there were many great Muslim leaders who I had not known before. So I'm so happy to know a lot of new things this time. So thank you so much.